on the brink of war. Sirens sound as thousands of Israeli tanks and troops are mobilized outside Gaza right now. They're ready to launch an attack on Hamas. Israel attempted a temporary truce with the militant group earlier today during the Egyptian prime minister's visit to the region, but the ceasefire was immediately ignored as Hamas launched more attacks. The two sides have spent the last 48 hours exchanging violent airstrikes that killed more than 20 people and injured hundreds more. Faith Goldie is live for us in our newsroom monitoring the development. So what is the very latest from the ground? Well, Karen, Israeli troops are moving towards the Gaza border. As, as of right now, 16,000 reservists has, have been called upon to join the Israeli effort against Hamas. And what we do know from the defense secretary is that he's willing to call up to 30,000 reservists to aid them in this effort. Now, in Gaza, the death toll stands at 20, with 200. 135 folks injured. Sirens are wailing across Jerusalem. First time in 20 years that that's happened. And in Tel Aviv. Now, I want to draw our attention to Tel Aviv specifically. Two rockets fell just shy of the border there. Now, this marks the first strike attempted atta uh, attack on Tel Aviv since the Gulf War in 1991. Keep in mind that Tel Aviv is home to over 40% of Jerusalem, of Israel's population. That's similar to hitting a Toronto or a New York, but in Israel. But this is unprecedented for one particular reason. It, it, it's the first time that a rocket from Hamas has reached that far, which indicates a huge expansion of Hamas capabilities. Now, here is Israel's uh, deputy foreign affairs minister talking about what this uh, advancement in capabilities means for Israel. Let's listen in. The distance between Tel Aviv and Gaza is less than 60 miles. So once they have uh, rockets of 50, 60 miles, they can really threaten the entire country. This is, of course, intolerable. And uh, what we want to do is, is, first and foremost, achieve peace and quiet. That means to stop the rockets. So escalating tensions, no question, Karen. It has a lot of folks here listening in to see how, how much this is going to build up and, and where exactly we're going to be leading as, as firefight continues in the region. And at this point, has there been any Canadian response to the tension in the region? Right, Karen. We've got a brand new video in for you right now. Kenny was in Toronto. He spoke to a Sun News Network uh, official here, and he's condemning Hamas's attacks on Israel. Let's listen in. This is an organization that shoots rockets from uh, schools in the Gaza Strip at schools in Israel. Uh, they are indiscriminately seeking to kill innocent civilians uh, to create uh, havoc and mayhem. And uh, we unqualifiedly condemn uh, the activities of Hamas, uh, an organization with an explicitly anti-Semitic charter. As for Netanyahu, he says the escalation within Gaza could lead to a strike uh, from Iran. So we'll see what this firefight in Gaza means for perhaps a wider war in the region, Karen. All right, Faith Goldie, live in the newsroom. Thanks, You're Faith. You're welcome. And that was Immigration Minister that we heard from Jason Kenney. Well, Middle East tensions are certainly dividing people here at home. of demonstrators, both pro-Israel and pro-Palestine, gathered outside Israel's consulate Thursday night in Toronto. Angry protesters chanted, Free Palestine and Stop the Hate. But Israel is still building settlements and has, has put a siege on the people of Gaza for the past four years. So the people of Gaza have been blockaded from air, land and sea by the aggressive regime of Israel. Jewish groups across the country are reacting to the violence. Bob Friedman, the chief executive officer of the Jewish Federation of Winnipeg, says his community is very concerned about what's going on in the Middle East right now. Many people here and other Jewish communities have friends and relatives in Israel. Uh, that's to begin with. We have a, certainly an emotional attachment to the state of Israel, so it's, it's of concern to us. Um, we still remember the last uh, ground war in Gaza, 2008, Operation Cast Lead, um, which led to many casualties on both sides. Um, so there's concern that it could lead to that and even beyond that, quite frankly.